Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Bloodborne. Today we're gonna go and try to defeat the Undead Giant. I thought it was kind of cool if you look through the portal here, you can kind of see the outline of what looks like him standing there. That might just be the effect of the fog gate that I've never seen from far away, but either way, it looked kind of cool, so thought I would share that. Anyways, off we go for attempt number... <clears throat> what attempt number is this? I feel like Probably like seven or eight, I would guess. Definitely up close to ten. Might even be ten, honestly. Oh my gosh. And the, obviously the first attempt of this episode, which has to go usually pretty poorly. I'm just gonna fight him with no healing items, because why not? There we go. Ooh. That was a little bit of a bad move on my part. I wonder, is that like belly of his there? His weak spot? Let my stamina come back here. He's got about like four or five more hits before he goes into his his uh, AoE move. Where he'll hit everything around him. Yep, I was expecting some kind of back attack there. Oh, here's my corpse. I don't think it's worth trying to get right now. He's trying to be a little crazy. Alright, any second now, he's gonna do his little transform. There it is. Right, he's like extra mad now. A lot of bosses in this game seem to kind of like, oh, oh, there it was again. I didn't move way fast enough. That's the danger of not having any any healing items or healing vials or whatever. So pretty much try not to get hit until phase two, and then still try not to get hit is probably the plan. All right, let's rock and roll. Probably just quickly. Oh, we do take some fall damage there. Well, that's not that's not optimal then. We know that for next time. <clears throat> so, I feel like I'm I'm getting there though. I'm getting the rhythm down. It's actually not that. Not that terrifying of a boss so far. His windups are pretty large and his patterns are somewhat predictable. That one was a little dangerous. Ooh, that was close. I had just barely enough energy. To dodge that and I dodged right into that I think I've done that before and it actually killed me so yep <clears throat> I was like well we're probably just gonna get tagged and then that's the end of uh, phase two there or phase one <laughs> now I don't think <clears throat> sorry there's any other path I can take Right now, I think this is my only option. Like when I went behind the the bigger guy to the left, uh, from where I am now, he just had the switch to open this door. Was where he was. So I think this is my only way forward. Let's just try to stay a little bit more behind him. Ah. Uh, I just screwed that up 100%. Ah, uh, yeah, that was... That was terrible. Didn't land a single hit. Gotta say, like the one advantage that you always have in Dark Souls. <clears throat> over everything, or not Dark Souls, but Bloodborne, and any Souls game, really, that follows this kind of system, is you can always come back. That is our advantage. Like, could you imagine if there was a guy that showed up 
or just a person or some creature or anything really like even a, a fly that showed up every single day and just tried to attack you you know whether you're awake sleeping you know monday tuesday wednesday any day of the week just constantly appears same fly and attacks you like that would drive you absolutely bonkers and don't you think at some point something would happen and that fly might win you know like maybe you flush swat at them and miss and hit something important or hurt yourself all right enough about that back to getting our fight on oh I should probably when he winds up that arm to do the stab move go to the uh, his right side I'm not using my my brain on this fight apparently I'm just using what I call Mario Kart syndrome that's because like you ever you ever play like a racing game and uh, and you're like oh man I really don't want to hit that banana peel and you're thinking about the banana peel as you're trying to drive around it and you're looking at the banana peel as you're making sure that you carefully drive around it and then you drive right into the banana peel and uh, it's just like you your muscles in your body tend to whoa uh, focus and move you towards whatever you're paying attention to or giving the most attention so best thing to do in that case is notice it but look away from it and use that oh man we got that thing early get the heck out of there we need some energy so yeah that's what I call Mario Star Syndrome when you drive into the banana peel you're trying to avoid Tried to get some health back. I got a couple hits worth. I'll probably take one big hit and still survive now. I hope. That attack is crazy. I hate it. Oof. That was the one I... I was trying to tell myself to dodge the other direction, and I went still the wrong way, but got lucky, reacted fast enough. Oof. That's a little scary. Alright, I'll probably go for that smash attack soon, I think. Maybe. Yep, there it is. Right, that has a pretty big range on it. it. Tagged me a little bit and I was looking at my HP and didn't see the follow up. Ah, jeez, that was a little bit risky. Probably shouldn't have done it. It's probably gonna go for the, oh, something that would kill me, I thought. I think I got a tiny bit of HP back there. So that's a five combo that he can do now. Oh my gosh. I just ran right into his foot. Hmm. Well, I think I'm gonna give it maybe one or two more shots. And then we might go back to check out uh, where the Blood Starved Beast was. See if there's anywhere I can go beyond there. Because it could be that, you know, I still have, don't feel confident enough to go fight that other big guy. And this guy, despite seeming like a pretty simple enemy, um, just doesn't take a lot of damage from my attacks. And I'm still using, I think, only like, was it one? Yeah, plus three on my cane. So, now I could be wrong. This could be like where I'm supposed to be and I'm just awful. Oh my gosh. Yep. Yeah. 
Let's just uh, go back to uh, the Blood Starved Beast and see if there's anything else we can go explore. Because I feel like this episode would just be me smashing my face against the undead giant over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. I don't think I'm going to make a lot of progress without having either a bunch of healing items or um, or like a, a bit of some power-ups <laughs> like to my armor and weapon because I can take three hits tops if they're little hits that seems like which he doesn't really have a lot of little hits okay so this is the yarn of one oops wrong button and still wrong button oh my gosh <laughs> okay so the church of the good chalice was that where um we fought the beast let's take a look It does tell me that I have to go to like the Church of Oedon or Odom, or something like that. Oh yeah, this is definitely blood-starved beast town. So let's look around here. See if there's anything uniquely important I should be checking out. Hmm. Does not seem to be any halfway from inside here but that doesn't mean that there's no pathway it could just be something outside here I don't feel like this is like the end of the whole area I don't know maybe it was I mean this is as deep as it goes unless there's like something outside here hmm nope just a whole lot of burning burning people and crosses oh my god that scared me that actually scared me I jumped in my chair oh my gosh yeah screw you I really don't like you that was really rude I bet there's other others like the I can't even talk now. Others like you. Hiding amongst the nothing out here. Take a look around, make sure none of you follow me. Jerks. Ugh, that spooked me. Alright. Let's take a look see. I don't know if there any ladder or anything over here. Well, seems like I'm just wandering around looking for nothing. Alright, well, let's uh, go back to the dream, I guess. Now, I'm trying to think of, like, what were other paths I could have taken that I might have skipped. There's Old Yarnum, the Cathedral Ward. There's the tomb. He wants me to go to the church, like the top of the church or whatever he said, so maybe, maybe this is somewhere. Like I said, it's been a minute since I played this in the last episode, so I might be just forgetting stuff and I might need to refresh my memory a little bit. Okay, so this is... This is where we fought, um, whatchamacallum, the father, father dude, can't remember his name right now, uh, let's see, I know there's gonna be like tons of enemies, uh, you know what, I just had a chill go up my spine, I feel like just wandering through here is not the right answer, maybe I do just have to go through that dungeon. Maybe there's something that opens opens the pathway. Like, like he's not that tough of an enemy. My weapons just don't seem to do as much as I should or need to do. You know what? Do I have anything I can use to get myself some uh, 
Yeah, there we go. We could use some some dew. Uh, let's see. I think they're only like what 200 or 300 each to get a oh 360. Okay. Well, yeah, we can pop a few. We got quite a few. Let's just try and let's try and do this right. Oops. We use multiple. There we go. Four. Yes. All right. That seems. Not quite enough for 10, but let's buy as much as we can. You know what? Let's. We want to win this, so. Oh, yeah. Pop that. And do we have more? I think we had this one, just one of them. Oh, yeah, that's the good stuff. Alright. Yeah, it's probably an easier way. I should just, like. Try and find out whatever the easiest way to just farm some of those would be. Oops, that's not where I want to go. Let's head back into the dungeon. Layer 1. This is only layer 1, right? Like, I highly doubt I'm supposed to go through and do the entire dungeon. But maybe. Maybe we get something cool that makes us stronger. Maybe I actually get a ton of echoes to spend on some level ups. I'm hoping this puts me right puts me right across from where the undead giant was. It did. Nice. Okay. We now have 15 healing things. I do have five bullets, and I should try to make good use of them. Um, so let's, let's head on up here and try it out. Alright, so this time I feel like I'll be able to at least take some Take some shots, though obviously I don't want to. Let's take my lantern off so it's harder for him to see me. <laughs> I'm gonna focus up a little bit. Might talk a little less. Pop a quick heal there. I screwed up both those timings. It's kind of, like I said, I'm still not very good at the parrying stuff. Probably could have done one right there. Would have been smart. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. We're just gonna heal off that. That's worth popping a heal for. Probably gotta hit him with some heavy attacks. That's probably the smart move here. Oh my gosh. Just because I have heals doesn't mean I should play stupid. Like that. Alright. Yeah, now I'm just playing like a moron. Let's see, can we bait him into doing something? Nope. Still couldn't. I don't know what attacks are parryable, honestly. You kick with that leg too, it's terrifying. Alright, we're well, we're out of bullets. It's a good thing I didn't do like a gun only playthrough of this game. I would get my butt handed to me. I'm not really having any like solid weak spots to exploit, feels kinda bad. But, it's just these kind of games, sometimes you just gotta fight them. Alright, got him into phase two. And, which hurts. Might as well heal again, I don't want to get one-shotted after wasting all this at this point. Probably going to use that AoE attack quite a bit, so I do really need to be careful about it. I'll probably stab him. That seems pretty good. Oh, we got the Latin singer now. That means it's getting extra scary and dangerous. I'm trying to maybe only approach when I have good energy. Damn. Actually, kind of, I just got lucky there. I 
I was only expecting a certain amount of combo hits and he kind of like um, freestyles them a little bit. Stabbing seems good. That deals pretty good damage. Oh, hello. Damn, that's what I'm talking about. Alright. Just gained a surge of confidence. Stabbing seems excellent. Oh. Careful. I had a feeling he was going to do that. Oh, we did it again. We popped something. Oh. I'm glad I did that. Don't jump again. Oh, he did it anyways. Didn't listen. Alright, I know he's only got one shot left, but I don't want to screw this up. Oh, we did it. Alright. Just need a little break. I'm gonna walk around a little bit. Oh my god, we did it. That's awesome. Bloodstone Shard, Adept, Blood Gemstones 2. Awesome. Alright, well that feels great. We made it past the undead giant. Let's... what was that? Operate device. Device is not currently operable. Oh, that thing. Okay. Oh, there's the elevator. Alright, well... Down to layer 2, I'm guessing. Yep, layer two. Okay, so I think I kind of got a little bit of clues what's going on. You uh, open a layer of the dungeon, defeat the dungeon, there's a boss, and then you get to the next layer. So here's layer two. Here's our lantern. You always kind of get like a comfortable starting zone, it appears. You know what, I'm actually going to head back to the dream and buy more files. With that in mind, I imagine there is actually like a better or a different way to go in actual Bloodborne towards the Church of Oedon or whatever. Can we just buy one level up? Welcome. What is it? I desire a level up. Very well. Let me stand. Yep, do your thing. 3,000. Ugh. Alright, never mind. See ya. Wait, can we upgrade my weapon? With these new gemstones I got? Especially because I got gemstones as a reward. That kind of tips me off that this is some optional twin blood stone shards. Oh my god. Should we, like, fortify the threaded cane? Would that be smart? I feel like that would be smart. What can we do? We got like a rank 2 one here. That would burst, or burst, uh, improve the physical attack by a significant amount, it looks like. And like I have two slots, it looks like. I don't know if that's right, but I feel like that would be smart. That's a big, big bump up. Alright, so I think I did it. And then number two, which has nothing. We bump it up again. Physical attack up by percentages. Thrust attack up. Blunt attack up. Seems like, like that's the one that's showing me blue. Like the number's actually gone up. Okay, that, no, okay, I get it. I get it. Okay, now it's starting to make sense to me. Alright, so we do that. And then it's got two gems in it. Cool. Alright. There's still, like, quite a bit about this game. I don't quite understand all the time, but... I'm kind of starting to get it, I think. <laughs> I hope. Alright, so we'll spend the rest of my money on... Um, stuff at the vendor here for some more blood vials. I feel like I'm buying Estus or something. Alright, nope, wrong. Wrong tombstone again. Let's go to the altar, layer 2, and let the adventure continue. 
So, yeah, I'm definitely thinking that this place may be not optional. Maybe that you do have to get to a certain layer um, in order to, like, progress through something. But at the same time, definitely kind of feels like not something that has to be done. So it could be... My, my theory is, like, maybe by, like, layer 5 or something that's like, okay, you've gotten to this point. Um, you've unlocked the thing. It's very hard for me to see... Oh, it's going on in here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Just as I say that, swarmed by these blood things. Okay, those are actually kind of hard to hit. So here is the locked by a device thing. Now we'll find out if these are, oh my gosh, summoned or not. Oh, their corpses are still here. Well, that scared the crap out of me. Heal once. We're not going to burn another one, I don't think, unless I'm making some serious progress here. I hear something walking probably above me, it sounds like. Is that fog here, no doubt, hiding a foe? No? All right, nope, that was fine. This seems just so super suspicious. I knew it. I knew something was up. I should have attacked sooner to get my HP back. All right, those were not summoned, it appears. I wonder if any of these are fake. Kind of hard to tell, you know. Alright, so we got another one, it sounds like. Oh, he. I think that was like a counter hit. Like he hit me at the same time, so. He dealt bonus damage. Beat my face in. Man, what's up with the. crazy explosion of light at the start here? You know what, I'm actually going to just run by everything at the start and head for that ladder. So we've already seen this whole room. There's no reason to get ambushed here. It looks like there's just some kind of like uh, invisibility magic or something going on. Because they just like explode out of the shadows as if they're cloaked by that one guy. And they make those horrible noises. <laughs> Alright, we're running this way. Is how we do it. We just run by. What's up? What's in this room? Anything? There's a stairs. Cool. I like stairs. There's a treasure chest. Haha, we're gonna open the treasure chest. Go ahead. Ritual blood. Alright. Cool blood, man. I'm heading the heck out of here. Whoa. I wonder if those are like traps on the floor or something. Yeah, I thought I was going to hang out there. Silly people. Alright, that's not a fake wall. Oh gosh, the young young youngs are coming. Where the heck does one go? We're going through this way now. Is this where I came from? Nope, there's definitely going to be an explosion of light here somewhere. Blood files. Oh, handy dandy. Alright. Whoa, my dudes. Whoa. Holy smokes. Alright, we don't know what down here is, but we're doing it. Oh, there is a trap of some kind. I cannot see anything. It is so dark down here. Oh, we found a path, though. We're running for it. Alright, this looks like it has led me back to the start. I think I may have missed whatever device I was supposed to pull. Alright, so let's head back this way. Dodge through these guys. And try to explore in this complete darkness. Why is it so dark in here? Like, I'm wondering if I have, uh... Somehow accidentally... Adjusted my settings or something. Or if it's just supposed to be this dark and I'm just... Missing something. 
These sounds are just hilarious, though, I gotta say. Oh. I feel like I've stumbled into a corner. Hmm. Yeah, I really couldn't... Couldn't see much at all. I don't know if that was my fault. Because everything else looks pretty okay. And I've, the other areas in this game have been notoriously dark as well. Like, yeah, like this room looks well lit. I can see everything. I in here starts to look pretty dark. Hmm. So you walk up here. What if I don't go right there? Okay, that didn't trigger anything. Here's my body. Something's already attacking me. I just left my echoes there. Those were handy. Oh, maybe I didn't have my lantern on. Seems a little bit easier to see now. <laughs> oh, there's two fire guys there. Three statues that shoot arrows. There's the pressure plate that shoots arrows. Oh, you can destroy those. That's nice to know. Oh. One of those guys. I've got some, like, banners in the corner. There really appears to be not a whole lot in here. It seems to just have like nothing basically just there's things that shot at me and is there st what if I just step on the switch now that those things are destroyed is it still gonna shoot arrows at me wait where is the switch isn't it right along here can I only step on it once hmm interesting okay maybe it is a one-time deal oh maybe I wasn't like in the right uh, section here. There it is. Okay, nope. This doesn't do anything now. Interesting. Okay. We still haven't spawned those other guys, so... Let's run in and climb the ladder. Oh, there's an item here I didn't, didn't see at all. Damn, so if you were careful, you could, like accidentally not really run into any enemies for a good chunk up until like here basically I guess I did fight those two fire guys but okay I think last time I went this way yeah that was the first way I went last time and I don't I found that treasure chest, that's right. The ritual blood. But this way I didn't get a chance to really explore in depth. Because... There was too many dudes following me. That sounded like a summoner. Aha! Thankfully all her summons, or its summons, their summons, fall over. Well, this is kind of like a reverse of the room that I found the first one. There is the switch down there, it looked like. Okay, so, yeah, I'm starting to get the feel for these dungeon things. Some bullets. There's another big guy, so we'll probably just run by him. Let's heal up. Because I think this is pretty far to... Or pretty safe. Oh my god. See, and that's why I healed. That is why we healed. Why can I not operate this? There we go. That was the craziest thing I've ever seen. He's still doing it. I can hear him. Okay. 
That was nightmare fuel. I don't ever want to deal with that again. Where am I? I'm going to jump down here. If I died there, it would be like, that's fine. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to run over here. Return to the dream. Buy more blood vials. And then we get to try another boss, I think. Because we beat the dungeon. So, skipping that guy at the end makes me feel kind of bad. But did you see those rolls? That dude was rolling. Straight rolling. Alright, so we're not going to burn these on like the first few attempts. So that we can just learn, but this is just so that when I d inevitably die, I won't like, you know, immediately die again. And lose all my echoes. Save them for when I kind of understand the boss a little bit. So these dungeons, not too dense enemy wise like i figured there would be a lot more i you know knowing these games you usually expect to get completely just overwhelmed from every angle uh, but this seems very kind of light and fair the amount of enemies you encounter and let's see what the second boss is like i kind of like the approach of you know doing a little mini dungeon Fighting a, a boss, a mini boss of a kind. Uh, watcher, watcher, and a chieftain. So the chieftain is probably my target. Um, oh, this doesn't seem good at all. What are you? You're the chieftain. All right, good to know. These guys don't seem nearly. Nearly as like easy as they're looking here. One of them has a shotgun. That's how you know. But if I can beat him, I imagine his his goons might be a little bit easier to deal with. got him down a decent amount. He mostly seemed to just like have smash my face attacks. Um, his dudes seemed to just follow him mostly. Very slowly. Uh, the only thing I can think of is that if I don't kill his two soldiers first, with the, they might actually die faster than him. I haven't tried hitting them yet. I'll probably try that this time. But if I don't kill them first, or if this the chieftain gets low while they're still alive, what if he does some kind of like, um, you know, encourage them into a rally thing? Okay, that one has a gun. Okay, this guy's slow. I'm probably gonna die here. But we are just learning. This time, the chieftain followed a different one, so there is that. Yeah, because sometimes you know, chieftain can be like, you know, roar or something, and and uh, brings everybody into like a battle frenzy. So that's my question: Does the chieftain dying make the other two, you know, just continue acting normal? And he gets taken out of the fight, or does him him dying end the fight? Or I'm judging by all of them having a health bar. That's not the case. Um, I think the best thing is to try to get. Get them at least all in a row or somehow separated so that you can deal with them kind of like one at a time. Whoa, what was that? Yeah, is that like part of his attack? I 
that's a butcher move. Alright, so hitting him with a heavy whip attack seems good. Kind of working him down a little bit. That was a bad time, but it worked out. I forgot about the good old range on the whip here. Alright, well, you know what? This attempt's going okay. Let's pop a couple. <laughs> As I say that. Ah, screw it. I can always buy more. I can always farm a little bit. For what it's worth, I think this strategy is kind of working. Enemies in Bloodborne in general seem to be kind of preferent. They almost prefer sometimes that you fight one on. Oh, okay. Pop another here. With this much in, we might as well commit, right? I don't know how many stabs he does. I should count those. Trying to be very careful here. There we go. One down. All right. All right. Him dying didn't seem to do anything. So let's. This guy approaches a little bit faster. So I'm gonna try to maybe not use the heavy wind-up attack on him. Try and find out the spacing on on the regular attack. Uh, maybe we might have to go for the heavy one. It does seem to have like a little bit more reliable range But if this guy combos me out All my patience is for nothing see like that i had been heavy attack mode that might have been too much. Oh Shoot he did like a two-handed overhand Bonk on me there. Yeah, we're committed. This is a This is the attempt here if not now, when, kind of thing, you know. Oof. Yep, just gonna pop a couple of those. Just be a little bit more patient. I use the corners like this to my advantage. I think I can get a little bit more damage in. I yeah, see that was a bad attack. Bad time to go in on that. Try and bait him a little bit. Just gotta hit him when he's got real windups. Like that one, that one can be, but sometimes you just, you can go berserk mode too, right? I almost pressed the button there. There we go. He's doing like the same wild man combo here. Ooh, that was a little scary. Sorry, just trying to focus up a little bit here. We're working him. Gotta be a little bit concerned about that dude with the gun still. And we got the Latin going on, so. Or at least the spooky singing. The gun guy could still be trouble, honestly. Oh, that was a big overhead smash. We're gonna heal up. That's all of our healing items, unfortunately. Alright, Chieftain is down. He didn't do any rallying cry. <sighs> but we do still have to deal with this guy. A 
might be able to just Alright, this one seems to be pretty easy. I'm not gonna gamble though. For all I know, a single single one of those shotgun blasts could wipe me out. Or worse yet. Um, he has an attack I don't know about that he just unleashes on me. Or even worse for us yet. When all three of these guys are dead, they form together. And that's the phase two. And I've just wasted all this time on the baby phase. Not realizing that I'm just very bad at this game. Which may yet be the case. But to be fair, the undead uh, giant, wow. Undead giant itself didn't really have a phase two, so. Well, I mean, tired of using a blood move, but. This is more of a phase two than these guys had. Yeah, I can't do a second shot. Or a second attack. Oh, he pulled out a gun. He became the chieftain. Alright, well, the chieftain can mess me up. So let's... not lose. Oof. slaughtered. Alright. And we got the Thumaru Root Chalice. What's that do? Thumaru and the Thumaru Root. We need two mold for this one. It breaks multiple labyrinth seals. Root Chalice is used in rituals to break old labyrinth seals. Are said to change the labyrinth's form each time. Huh. Well, this just got a little bit deeper, so something about like randomizing the dungeon a little bit, or refreshing it, or placing it, or something. Hmm. Descend ladder. What do we get for beaten layer two? Anything special? Oh, just another another elevator. All right. Layer 3. So I guess this just, like I was thinking, continues on until you reach the bottom. Got a little hunter thing there and classic dungeon door. And there's dungeon enemies. And there's the door to the boss right across from the thing, as always. Oh, got us still in whip mode. Yeah, I like whip mode. Alright, well. There's a dude stomping around down there. <laughs> Alright, well, next time we will. Um, I might try to figure out where else I could go to continue the actual game, or we might, uh, if I'm feeling it, do more of this dungeon and see what kind of stuff we discover. So far, it just seems mostly like. Items for upgrading my gear, which I didn't really pay attention to what stone that was. Ah, oh, the tempering bloodstone, which I think I just put one a level one of those in, and that seems like a big difference, like 10%. So we'll probably go fix that up, and then we'll see what the heck to do. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.